Hey there everyone, welcome back to Measure and Mix. I know it's been over a week since I've had a new video, but I am back, I was sick, so I feel much better, and I'm ready to do some Dollar Tree Spring DIYs. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell for notifications. All right, let's get started. For this first DIY, I'm gonna be using two of the bamboo cutting boards from Dollar Tree. Now, if you can't find them or don't have any of these, you could definitely use some scrap wood or one of the signs from Dollar Tree. Um, I just had them lying around, so I wanted to go ahead and use them. Now, I did give them two coats of white chalk paint. Before the second coat of white chalk paint, though, I did come and drill two holes in the top of each one of these cutting boards, so I had something to hang them with after I was done. And then, after the two coats of white paint were dry, I came back with a piece of sandpaper and just sanded down the edges to give this more of a rustic farmhouse look. Next, I'm gonna get out one of these Easter baskets, which I already had lying around. I'm pretty sure this one was from Dollar Tree from years prior. I have a ton of Easter baskets, um, so I didn't even have to buy one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and tear off the handle, and then I'm gonna cut the Easter basket in the middle all the way down so I have two pieces of Easter basket. And the middle uh, bottom was a little bit hard to cut because of the layers of bamboo on the basket but I just kind of went through and got them all cut one by one now then I came back with one half of the basket and one of the cutting boards and I'm just gonna lay that half of the basket on top of the cutting board and I just cut the bottom of the basket off because I don't need that then I'm just going to kind of eyeball the sides where I need to cut them at and adjust the bamboo um, basket weave a little bit if I need to. And then once I have it where I like it, I'm just going to go ahead and use some hot glue and put a little bit on each side of the cutting board underneath the basket to glue that basket down to the cutting board. Now I'm not going to lie, this was a little bit difficult and the hot glue just did not want to stay stuck to the painted cutting board. So um, if you are going to do this, I would recommend using a little staple gun and stapling the basket into the uh, cutting board maybe uh, just to make sure it stayed or using some super glue or some kind of heavier duty glue to make sure that it stayed stuck. Now I did make sure that it wasn't completely glued down and that way I had a little bit of a pocket at the top of the basket to put some flowers in. Then after I got it all glued down I went ahead and gave it a coat of white chalk paint. You could leave it um, colored, the basket colored if you wanted to. I just wanted to give mine more of a neutral feel. Then next I'm going to make a hanger for this. So I just took some of these wooden beads that I got off of Amazon. I'll leave a link to them down below. There's like 300 of them all in the same size and it's a pretty decent deal. And I just strung them on some wire twine that I got from Dollar Tree. I did I think 16 wooden beads and then I just kind of tied it in the back. Then I just took some of these cute floral um, flowers from Dollar Tree and placed them in the basket. And I did the same thing to the other cutting board as I did this one. And I love how it turned out for spring. I don't know where I'm coming from. It feels like it never happened. Maybe just a dream. For the second DIY, I'm going to be using six of these 8x10 stretched canvases from Dollar Tree. But what I'm going to do is I am going to remove the staples from the back of each one of these. And I just used a little crowbar to remove the staples, but you could use a flathead screwdriver, something um, just flat to get underneath those staples to remove them. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the canvas off of the frame and I'm going to flip that canvas over to the right side and then I'm going to take the frame and lay it on top of the right side of the canvas and I'm just going to use some hot glue on the frame to glue the frame down to the canvas. And then I just took a box cutter, this one is from Dollar Tree, and I just carefully cut the edges of the canvas um, around all four 
uh, sides of the frame so that way everything would be even and have a nice clean edge and then I did this to all six canvases it took probably about 20 to 25 minutes to do all of them next I'm going to take these letter stencils I got from Menards they're six inch letter stencils um, I'll try to link some similar ones from Amazon if I can find any but all I'm going to do is spell out the word spring and I'm just going to uh, spell it out by doing one letter per canvas. So for the first canvas, um, for the first letter S, I um, actually made the S go as far as I could down to the bottom of the frame because I'm going to be putting something on top of um, the S, if that makes sense. You'll see in a minute. Um, but for the rest of the letters, I just lined up the stencil to the bottom of the frame and then stenciled on with just some black acrylic paint. I believe the acrylic paint came from Dollar Tree. Um, and then I didn't do the I because I'm doing something different for the I as well. All right, once I had the S, P, R, N, and G all stenciled onto five of the canvases, I had one canvas left over that I saved for the eye. And what I was going to do was draw a tulip onto that canvas for the eye. I actually got this idea from Pinterest. I saw a porch sign where they had written out spring and then they used the tulip for the eye. And I just thought that was so cute and perfect. So I just looked at that picture on um, Pinterest and tried to freehand draw with a pencil onto the canvas uh, the same kind of tulip they had on theirs. And then I came back with some pink chalk paint and a small paintbrush and just filled in the tulip and then came back with some green chalk paint and filled in the stem and the leaves of the tulip. I think it turned out super cute. It's not perfect. I'm not an artist, um, but I like how it turned out and I think uh, crafting and just drawing and painting is just all about having fun and experimenting. So like I said before, I left a little space above my S so that way I could write out the word hello. And I just used a pencil to write the word hello out first so that way if I made any mistakes I could come back and erase it and fix it until I got it the way I liked it. Then I just took a paint pen in black and I just traced over uh, the pencil markings and filled in the lines um, to make them look a little bit more thicker and then I came back with a eraser to erase the pencil marks. Alright so now it's time to put the whole sign together so I'm just lining up my letters or my canvases vertically and I'm just using some hot glue to glue the frames together. I would recommend using maybe some wood glue instead and then maybe going on the back of the frames and then stapling them together just to make sure that it is more secure. But I'm just using hot glue for my purposes um, because it dries super quick and it's easy for me to use for video purposes. But I love how this sign turned out for spring. I think it's perfect. For the last DIY, I'm going to use one of these dish towels from Dollar Tree to create a cute little spring pillow. I've done this before on my channel and I've seen some other YouTubers do it. It's just such an easy way to add some seasonal decor to your home and it only costs a dollar to make. So what I did was I just took the towel and I just left it where it was folded at and then I just lined up the seams and now I'm just taking some hot glue and hot gluing the seams down on two sides leaving one side open so that way I can fill it with some stuffing now I just used some polyfill that I already had but you could use stuffing uh, from an old pillow or something like that um, just anything that you have to stuff it would work and then once it's all filled I just hot glued the other side down and 
then you can use seams tape or you could even sew this if you wanted to but honestly hot glue just works out perfectly for me and it's just easy because I use it all the time and that is it for this cute spring pillow Thank you guys so much for watching today. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, share this video with someone you know, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.